Counterfeit goods ring busted in Manhattan in what federal prosecutors say is the largest ever seizure of bogus products in U.S. history. Yeah, more than 200,000 mm. counterfeit items like clothes and shoes, bags and other luxury products. The haul worth more than a billion dollars. Two people have been indicted and they face up to 10 years in prison if they are found guilty. You know, there are lots of ways to make money legally, of course. Here's Lauren Glassberg. Inside this mini storage facility was a massive counterfeit goods operation, according to authorities, something that was fairly obvious to Greg Zuman, who rents space here. This place was just a beehive and it was crammed and it was jammed and it was insane and it was crazy and it was busy. Authorities say there were shelves brimming with purses, wallets and accessories, the kinds of things sold on Canal Street or Fifth Avenue. I think they got some of the bad players that were warehousing this and supplying it to many, many uh, individuals that work on the streets of New York but don't pay their taxes. They actually are hurting our quality of life. Mark Jaffe, the CEO of the Greater New York Chamber of Commerce, says the counterfeit industry also isn't good for legitimate business. Two men are now under arrest, and the joint effort by Homeland Security Investigations and NYPD sees 219,000 designer knockoffs, a billion dollars worth which is why the mini storage is now no longer bustling. I, like I see them every day. I was here. Uh, they're just the whole place is like a ghost town all of a sudden. And that's part of the plan, according to the special agent in charge, who said in part, we will not allow opportunists to convert public warehouses into their own illegal shopping centers or to wreak havoc on the streets of New York City. Okay. Cracking down on criminal activity is important, but so is changing the consumer mindset, according to Jaffe. I say to the consumer, uh, you shouldn't uh, contribute to criminals. You're, you're rewarding bad activity. But the low prices for very real looking items is a selling point for consumers who aren't really thinking of the greater implications of their purchases. And until they stop buying fakes, the market for them will likely continue. In